Brian, hi, this is Joe Fredette. Just wanted to take a moment and say congratulations on your retirement. And say thank you for all your years of service at the Manchester Boys Club uh, and everything you've done for myself and all the other kids growing up in that area. Uh, you were always a, a gentle, kind-hearted man who uh, had a great big heart and took care of us all. Again, I'd just like to say uh, congratulations on your retirement and good luck. Hi, Brian. This is John Lynch. I'm so disappointed that I can't be with you tonight at your retirement party. And I want to thank you so much for all that you have done for our young people. You have made an enormous impact in the lives of so many kids. And it's been so fun and heartwarming for me to see you interact with the kids, um, whether it's at the club in Manchester or Camp Foster. They obviously love you a great deal, as I know you love them. And it's been wonderful working with you, again, whether it's at the club or Camp Foster or just playing catch at the Fisher Cats game. I've said before that the Boys and Girls Club is all about opportunity, the opportunity that we offer to our young people to have better lives. And you reflect all that is so special about the Boys and Girls Club. So congratulations again. I look forward to continue to working with you, Brian, and hopefully we'll meet sometime in the future on the pickleball courts. Again, congratulations and thank you so much. Hello, Brian. This is Donald Plant from Texas. 42 years at the club. Wow, seems like only yesterday that Ken LaPointe was promoted to unit director, taking the place of the late Jim Sorello, and the club began its search for a new gym director. I was a scrawny 16-year-old gym rat, and all of my fellow gym rats thought we had a say in who would be the next big guy to run the gym. We had a few that applied, noticed how I said we, and we put our two cents in for everyone that did apply. I'm not really sure how we chose you, but we couldn't have picked a better person, a better man, a better mentor, and a friend to be the next big guy to run the gym. I have had the privilege to be a part of your life for the past 42 years. From being in the gym with you, to helping you move from Litchfield to Manchester Street to your current place in Hooksit, to helping you and Judy with your wedding party, to sharing a cold brew from your personal stock at your house. Thank you very much for being a great friend, a mentor, and for being someone who always took the time for me and my mother. She always thought you were a very special man, Brian. The Boys Club has been very fortunate and blessed to have you be a part of the community and most importantly, be a part of so many young people's lives for so many years. Enjoy your retirement, Brian. A job well done. I love you. I want to say thanks for playing a pivotal role in helping me develop into the person I am today. Uh, you provided me with guidance and opportunities inside and outside of the club that allowed me to grow personally and professionally. Uh, I just want to say thank you for always taking the time to listen and be a mentor, uh, whether it be on my personal life or um, being a professional um, entrepreneur. I uh, just want to say thanks for those things and uh, congratulations on your retirement. Hello, Brian. On behalf of my wife, Judy, I want to congratulate you on a wonderful retirement and thank you again as a proud alum of the Manchester Boys and Girls Club of what you've done for the kids there in Manchester, New Hampshire. Dating back to the days where you played baseball and basketball for Keen High Blackbirds, my friend, I've watched your career and I've been most proud to know you as a good friend and I hope you and Judy enjoy your retirement. Thank you again on behalf of all the kids that you've touched along the way, and I hope you have a wonderful retirement. Say hi to everybody in Manchester for me. I wish I could be there enjoying the night. All my best. Take care. Bye-bye. Just a quick little story about Brian, um, and I'm sure that he's going to remember this, but any time that the Keystone Club or the Teen Center when I was working there needed something, um, I'd always go to Brian and just remind him that he was the man. And he always knew that I was asking for something because I'd tell him that he was the man. But Brian always came through, Brian always pulled through for any of the teen programs, any of the Keystone programs, or anything that I needed growing up as a club member. So Brian, I just want to remind you that you are the man. Have a great retirement.